Hello friends, today using Cinema 4D we will make a simple water animation with some floating objects on it. We will also see how to apply basic materials, create materials, an art and sky object. So let's begin. We start by going onto the cube object. There we select plane. Now we need to add the width and height segment. We make it 600 centimeters and we, in the width and the height segments we add 200 each. This gives us enough segments to make a smooth animation rather than a choppy one. The more the segments, smoother the animation the object will look like. Just adjusting the screen here so it looks better. Um, let's go and add a plugin which is known as Hot 4D. This is a free plugin and I'll provide the link for it. Under it, we make a ocean resolution to 256 by 256. This enables us to give a little bit more of a smooth look and feel. We don't have to touch any other parameters here except for the time parameter. Control click on the first and the last frame. And the last frame, we make it 30. Now we hit play. We see there's nothing happening because right now the hot 4d is not a child object for the plane as soon as we make it a child object we have an instant animation ready what we see is the animation tends to slow down towards the end of the frames what we need to do is we click on the first frame go to interpolation make it linear again go click on the last frame same steps interpolation linear now let's hit play we have a simple smooth animation. The animation is now not slowing down towards the end of the frame. That being done, now let's add some objects. Um, we will be using Taurus. You can use any other object here. Uh, makes sense uh, floating objects on a riverbed or ocean bed. Scaling it down. And now I'm going to make some duplicate copies of it. The simple way to do is Control C and Control V. You can also use uh, Apple C and Apple V. Uh, I have made three copies. Now I'm just placing it where I want them. Um, somewhere a little closer to my camera. Once we'll also put the camera, you will see and understand why it's important, the placement. Uh, I also want these objects a little bit under the water. Um, so once we start creating animation, they don't float on the top but it seems like they are going in and out and then floating naturally. Um, just putting it a little bit inside the water. Uh, place it the way you like it. There's no fixed formulas here. Once you're happy with the placement, um, we will go ahead and we will simply uh, select all these three toruses and we'll apply a tag. Uh, the tag will help us to kind of enable it to float. Under characters, we go to constraint tabs. Under the constraint tab at the bottom, click clamp. Go to the clamp tab. Uh, in two, we change origin to surface. We want it to on the surface. Mode, we don't want the position to be fixed, but the axis to be fixed in this case is Y. Just click on use normals and in as make it form normal and just lock position. Once you do it, let's go back to the first frame and click play. What we notice here is the object is still floating on top. It's riding with the waves, but still on the top. And the reason being this is happening is because of the distance parameter. With all three constraint tabs selected, go to the distance and make it zero. You can also individually select each tab and make distance zero. The moment you hit it, you say the orientation has been changed. It's now a bit more aligned with the water. And once you click play, it's going under the water and coming out of it. So that was it. That was the whole uh, animation. How do we create uh, floating objects on a riverbed or an ocean bed? I'm going into settings and I'm making it 1280 by 1280. I typically post it on Instagram. So uh, square format helps me. If you want to keep it any other format, that's up to you. Choosing a saving location uh, under desktop folder, it could be any other folder. I'm just calling it name A and changing it to WMV type. Uh, not the best option for the web, but I'm just using it for the demo purposes. There's no sound including, so I will remove the sound. 
and from current frame I make it to all frames in the save uh, output option. Let's do a quick render here and see how it looks. Um, so that's how it will look without any materials uh, applied to this. I'm also adding a sky object just to ensure that it doesn't give me a plain gray uh, element outside that. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go to materials. Um, in Cinema 4D you can actually load up materials or create new one. In this case I'm going to create new one. In the color mode I'm just going to use a little bit of a blue and I'm going to drag that material on top of my sky in this room a quick render. This seems fine to me um, just for the demo purposes. I'm going to load material presets. Um, there's so many materials which comes in if you have a studio version under the prime um, or you can go to I think it was under visualize liquid would be wrong yeah and there it is water so I just choose water I drag and drop water onto our plane surface so that way the material is applied quickly creating a new material uh, just making it bright white um, so the object is more reflected into the ocean and now I'll run a quick render to see how uh, materials look like. You can drag and drop each materials or you can select the objects on the right. Click right click on material and choose apply and you will see all the materials are applied. Quick render this looks good to me. Um, all I now need to do is adjust my camera angle, go to my uh, render settings and render the object on to the main um, preview window so quickly adding a camera um, adjusting the layout of the camera the angle that i feel is the best um, now with the sky option enabled i don't have to worry about um, how the background will look like uh, but that being said um, this seems to be or let me go bring the objects near to the camera zoom in a bit this seems fine to me I'll probably lift everything a little bit more up zoom in a little bit more and let's render a preview yeah this looks good to me um, what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna render this entire thing into um, the render preview mode and settings are looking fine let's render um, just doing a fit to screen thing and yeah seems perfect to me uh, once this will render out, uh, this is uh, your whole animation from 0 to 90, how it will look like. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. We'll continue to come up and create more of these videos. Thank you. you.